Hi guys! I'm just waiting for <laughs> my live to go online and uh, for a few people to also be in bago po ako magsimula ng gusto ko pong i-share for tonight. Okay, I think I am live. Let me just check sa akin pong isa pang device kung ako po ay live na. I think I am. Alright. Okay. Hi everybody! Good evening! Today is December 23, 2022. And I'm just gonna do a short uh, live para po sana i-share sa inyo yung naging uh, tatlong messages na tumadak sa akin ngayong gabi sa aming uh, pag-conduct uh, ng online Christmas gathering sa The Checkpoint Online. Ngayon po yung amin naging Christmas party pero online and we celebrated it by um, praising and worshiping. So, I really want us to, uh, kumbaga, eh, normalize yung include si Lord or si God sa lahat ng ating po mga activities even if it is uh, supposedly a review. Alright? And I want us to be uh, you know, comfortable uh, talking about Him and praising Him and worshipping Him. Because when we do that, when we have that attitude, it makes our journey to RMT relatively bearable than when we are, you know, um, alone in the journey in a sense na hindi po natin inilift up yung ating pong mga dinadala para uh, kay, kay, kay Lord para matulungan niya tayo. So, it really is um, um, I, I really feel very blessed to have this opportunity to share with you because um, thinking back, kung ako po yung student na mag uh, re review for a major exam like the board exam, I would have wanted someone to also remind me of the uh, promises of God, and I would have also I would love to also have an, uh, a family which I can. Um, um, turn to kung ako po ay nahihirapan na ma, may nahihirapan i-navigate no yung yung road to RMT journey because it can really get difficult kahit na sobrang sabihin natin na tayo po ay matalino at nagagawa natin yung ating pong mga uh, to do's no on track uh, right on track naman tayo sa mga gusto natin na um, tawag dito, na gawin, no, yung schedule natin, no, kahit nasabihin natin, perfect ang ating pong nagiging um, approach sa board review, there will come a time that when you wake up, you feel like it's not enough, or you feel like it's not gonna be, it's not uh, it's not possible anymore to, to, to pass a board exam or even top it, alright, there will be that roller coaster of emotion, eh, mapupunta talaga tayo dun. I'm not saying this to scare you, ah, it's just that it uh, it is anticipated because it a, a review season is a very a stress is a very stressful season and if we don't know uh, who to look um at who to fix our eyes on or what to think in cases like this then maybe we'll we'll uh, get really really lost and you know uh, maybe we'll along the way i will quit but you don't have to because you are reminded that you are not alone and that's why I, I am doing this live to share with you the three messages that resonated with me during our online Christmas gathering. I want you to be reminded especially those who are just um, doing self-review, yung wala po kayong kasamang uh, study body or yung mga uh, hindi po naka-enroll sa mga review center and you feel like you're on your own please don't, no? You can actually sana ay ma-reach po kayo ng video na to for encouragement during this um, holiday season na wala pong pasok, no? Kumbaga, uh, walang ano, schedule sa, sa mga review-review, ba? So, I also want to, uh, I prayed to God na sana ay masabi ko ang ta ng tama yung magusto kong sabihin at sana po ay ma-reach nitong video na to yung mga taong nangangailangan na marinig yung message. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pero yung, yung, web, yung camera kasi ng cellphone ko bigla adjust ng adjust. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna make this quick. Uh, this Christmas season, we are reminded of three things. The first thing is that God does not want us to be afraid. And um, kung inyo pong uh, babalikan yung mga worship sessions na na-share na natin previously, maririnig nyo po doon na isinishare na uh, kung iti-check down natin yung Bible, you will be able to count uh, a message that tells us to not be afraid. So yung mga may mga temang do not be afraid, ang count niya sa Bible is 365 times. 
it's a way of saying that daily you are reminded to not be afraid. So sabi po ni Pastor Jello sa mga nakaraan yung sessions, yung 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 fear does not come from God. So if we look at ourselves and we like fear the the, the upcoming board exam or kung ano mga exam yung pinaghandaan nyo, you you feel scared or you feel and uh, the fear, then you remind yourself that it does not come from God from God because God does not want you to fear. And yun po yung, yun po yung uh, gusto natin ma-remind sa inyo. 365 days a year, 365 times na banggit na wag po tayong matakot. Do not be afraid. So, ang, ang, ang summary po kung ba't ko to sinishare sa inyo is because it's Christmas season, we have to be reminded of the message that it brings. It's not the gift giving, it's not the fancy decorations that we see, it's not even Santa Claus, it's not the um, what the Christmas party, the 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 celebration. Of course, um, nasa tradition na natin mga Pinoy yan, But it's not the re the reason for the season. No, e e cliche man pa I I just want us to really um, realize that. Because when you realize it, it will be it will make your um, celebration more meaningful. The reason for this season is Jesus and okay. He coming to the world and saving us is a big deal. And especially for those who know the Christmas story, diba? But uh, putting it into context of a, of a student who is preparing for the board exam, this is what I want you to be, um, this is I want you to be reminded of. I want you to be encouraged sa tatlong messages nga. Una, do not be afraid. Okay? Even if makita mo yung countdown sa mga susunod na araw na nababawasan na nababawasan, pero hindi mo nababawasan yung number of reviewers, sa, to the point na gusto mo talaga ma-accomplish yung nilista mong schedule, don't be afraid. Okay? There's nothing to be afraid of because you are not alone. Even if literally or physically you are, but you will never be left alone, of course, because God is with you. Okay? That's the, 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 the meaning of uh, Emmanuel, diba? God is with us. Alright, so do not be afraid. Um, relating it to the Christmas story, mga beshi cells, sa, sa Christmas story po, when the angel talked to Mama Mary, si, Ma, si, si Mother Mary, ang unang message niya is, do not be afraid. So, um, it, sa, sa Christmas story, nabanggit din yung sinasabi sa atin ni Lord na inuutusan niya tayo, it's a command, it's a command, do not be afraid. So, let's pray that uh, um, during the remaining days that we are waiting for the great battle days ahead for the March 2023 exam, uh, let us remind ourselves every single time that we will feel the fear inside, let us be reminded that, hey, God does, God does not want you to, to feel that way. And in fact, He is reminding us daily to not be afraid. Okay? Do not be afraid. Pangalawang message po, uh, wait, wait lang, bago tayo pumunta sa pangalawang message, let me just uh, also but in <laughs> sa aking sinabi na do not be afraid, you may say that it's easier said than done, but it's possible. Okay, how? You constantly talk to God. You constantly remind yourselves. Um, I, I, I actually recommend buying uh, things like this. Marami po sa Shopee, yung mga ganito, yung mga promises ni Lord, yung mga Bible verses, na kahit hindi ka pa po well-versed sa Bible, you may start also. Eh, pwede mong panghawakan. No? Lagi po ako may ganito kasi sometimes I do this, no? When I, I feel like uh, overwhelmed about something, I'm just gonna pick a, a card so that I'm reminded. That, you, you see, our God is able. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. So, I also recommend that if ever you don't have something like this, you can buy or maybe you can gift it to others, okay? So that they may also have something that they can um, read and uh, reflect on pag sila po ay nahihirapan at sila ay natatakot because we don't want you to be afraid, right? We don't want you to be afraid. God does not want us to be afraid and fear does not come from God. So that's the first message. The second message that I want to tell you is that the Christmas story, the Christmas season reminds us that God, when He promises, He fulfills it. Unlike us na mga tao na kapag nag, uh, nangangako, eh, may tendency talaga, napakalaking tendency na hindi matupad. But when the promise comes from God, it will happen. No matter what, it will happen. No matter how long, it will happen. Now, makikita rin natin to sa Christmas story, when um, a Savior is born sa Israel, no, diba? they have to wait for 100 years for this to come. But the point is, um, no matter how long, 
but when God says it will happen, it will happen. So, uh, the, the, the point is, kapag daw meron, nag, uh, ito yung isang tumatak sa, sa, sa akin kasi kanina sa, 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 sa message. Sabi ni Pastor Jello, if um, may magsabi daw sa inang Merry Christmas, since the Christmas story is a story of God fulfilling His promises, it's like telling us na God's promises will come true. No, pag meron daw bumati sa atin ng Merry Christmas, it's like we can interpret it as God's promises will come true. God's promises to you will come true. So, kung i- i- ibabalik ulit natin sa context ng student na nagre-review, parang pag meron nag-Merry Christmas sa inyo, say, for example, me, Merry Christmas, RMTs ni Lord, it's like saying na, mga RMTs ni Lord, this is a reminder that God will fulfill His promises to you. So, be patient in waiting. And, um, tawag dito, keep the faith. Okay? Do not be shaken because uh, magkakaroon kayo ng mga uh, araw na talagang challenging, no? lalo na kapag mga subjects na inaaral nyo ay challenging din. You will um, sometimes be consumed by thoughts na hindi mo na kaya, no? hindi ka bagay maging RMT, uh, ito ba yung tamang landas para sa'yo. So, nat- nakuha din namin dun sa senior ni Pastor Jello, sabi daw doon, Uh, paano, ma- paano natin malalaman kung ang, prami- uh, kung ang pangarap ay nanggaling kay God? Pag daw sobrang laki, pag sobrang taas ng pangarap na kung tutuusin, hindi mo kakayanin mag-isa. That comes from God. Okay? It only means that we have to recognize that we need Him for this um, promise to be fulfilled. Of course, uh, ako po ay living testimony na God delivers. God fulfills His promises. I believed in my heart that He can make me, uh, or and will make me a top-notcher, and He did. I'm not saying this to brag or to, to uh, you know, uh, humility aside, I always say that I was able to top the board exam for medtechs because of God, and nothing else. Hindi po dahil sa marami akong nito, no? alam ko marami akong ganito, charot. <laughs> no, I'm just saying na, Uh, ako po ay isang tao na makakapagpatunay na kung ako lang mag assess sa sarili ko, hindi ko yung kaya beshi. But when God made a promise to me and I believed it, He showed me that He delivers. So, second uh, second um, message for tonight is for you to be encouraged that whatever happens, no matter how hard the, the road will be, And because it will be, no, hindi naman natin sinasabi na porke uh, tayo po ay kumikilala sa Panginoon ay eh, magiging madali na ang buhay natin. Alright, um, the thing is, you have to um, you have to hold on to that uh, promise. When when God says it will happen, it will happen. It will happen. Just like the promise that He made to the, to the Israelites. Kahit na it took 400 years for the Savior to be born, the point is, Jesus is here. He's with us. And so, You will never be alone. We will never be alone. Okay? So, yeah. Number two message is God fulfills His promises. Okay? Number three, mga beshi, sa Christmas story din po natin, ako pala, ko, gustong isingit. Yung paulit-ulit ko pong sinishare sa page na verse na, ay hindi, bago pala yun, beshi, sinulat ko na pala yung mga gusto ko, i-take note nyo na, na verse. Tukol doon sa 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 sa, sa antag dito sa promise na na antag doon na matutupad kasi di ba sinasabi ng iba 400 years pa bago na natupad yung promise so parang hindi ko kaya maghintay ng ganun ito po yung pwede nating panghawakan na verse kung kayo po ay nasa season of waiting kung kayo po ay parang hindi niyo nakikita na God is working kung kayo po ay nandoon sa area ng buhay niyo na parang na, na, sobrang dilim wala kayong marinig wala kayong maramdamang Panginoon this is something that you can hold on to Habakkuk chapter 2 at uh, chapter 3 verse ada uh, chapter 2 verse 3 I'm just gonna read a part of it ah but you can check it out sa inyo pong mga Bible you can hold on to this if you are that someone who feels there's nothing happening, there's nothing good happening in your lives, there's nothing good happening in your review, there's no more hope for your for your dreams to come true, there's no more hope for the promise to be fulfilled. Ito po yung sabi niya, if it, is, if it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place, and it will not be delayed. 
Let me repeat that, Beshi. Pakinggan mo maigi kung ikaw yung taong tinutukoy ko. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently. What are we going to do? We wait patiently. What are we going to do? We wait patiently. Why? For surely, it will take place. It will not be delayed. It will be given to you at the right time. You just need to be patient in waiting. Because, Beshi, kahit nasabihin natin na sobrang dami yung pinagdadaanan ngayon, lahat ng yan ay hindi maikukumpara sa ibibigay sa'yo ng Panginoon once you have proven that you can still praise Him even in the waiting season. That you're patient with Him and that you believe that He will fulfill His promises. Okay? So, that's message number two. Message number three, mga Beshi Waps, alam ko po na isa sa mga talagang kumukontra sa isip nyo ngayon habang nagre-review ay yung possibility na kayo po ay pumasa sa board exam or kung kayo po ay magtatap sa board exam. Okay? Uh, the Christmas story is also a story that tells us that even if we humans think it is impossible with God, nothing is impossible. How can I say that? When we look at the story of Mary, Mary a virgin, siya po yung pinuntahan ni Angel Gabriel para sabihin na ikaw ang napiling maging ina ng ating Panginoon ni Jesus Christ. And then sabi ni Mary, paano pong pwedeng mangyari yun? Since ako po ay virgin, wala po akong sexual contact, so paano po ako mabubuntis? And the angel um, replied to her that nothing is impossible with God. You see that, that very verse? that we always share, for nothing shall be impossible with God, it's found in Luke 1, 37. So, it's a reminder na, uy, yung imposible. Diba, parang imposible yun sa atin, unless parasite tayo, diba, yung mga parasite, pwede silang <laughs> magpartenogenesis. Pero para sa atin, to bear, sa, to bear a uh, child without, uh, you know, without the, the, the seminal fluid, <laughs> in, in insert na yung CMA, no? diba, sobrang imposible nun. But here, we are being given an example that when God wills it, it shall happen and it will not be. Uh, it is, for nothing, for nothing is impossible with God. So, the Christmas season is also a reminder for you na kahit nasabihin mo, imposible mo nang matapos, imposible mo nang maipasa, imposible mo nang makuha yung ipinagdadasal mo, well, hey, here's the answer. Nothing shall be impossible with God. Alam mo, napakaganda nito sa Tagalog. Teka lang ha, basahin ko lang sa inyo yung Tagalog version nito. Para mas nakakakilig siya sa Tagalog um, translation. Alright, let me just read it to you. Sapagkat walang anumang bagay na hindi kayang gawin ng Diyos. Oh, napakagandang reminder mga Beshi. So, I'm really taking my time to share this share this with you because I don't want to, you know, keep it to myself. But um, I, I'm sure that you will be able to use this during the time na kayo po ay macha-challenge. Kasi nga, sa mga susunod na araw, it will become harder kasi mas maraming um, reviewer na dapat matapos, mas konti yung araw na natitira na, na because, di ba, pa, pa, we move forward eh. We, we, we're moving forward sa dates. And we cannot say that we're afraid so that i-delay na lang natin yung board exam. We cannot always say that way. Okay? So, we have to um, face the, the challenges of the uh, of taking the board exam or this road to RMT journey now with God with us. Alright? The Christmas season is a reminder that you're not alone, that you don't have to be afraid. God is with you, that He will fulfill His promises to you, and nothing shall be impossible for Him. Alright? So, kahit nasabihin mo pang hindi, 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 doke. Eh. Kasi, ang dami ko talagang mga failures noon eh. Pang ilang take ko na, hindi pa rin ako makapasapasa. Hindi talaga eh. Alright? Well, Luke 137. Just do your best, mga beshi. At kahit sa tingin nyo po sa standards ng tao ay hindi yan kapasapasa, iba ang standards na ginagamit ng Diyos. Kaya isama mo siya. Pagising mo, bago ka magbuklat, habang nagbubuklat, or habang nag-aaral, or habang nagbememorize ka, habang gumagawa ka ng mga sticky notes mo, magdasal ka, kausapin mo siya, Lord, nahihirapan ako, intindihan ano bang ibig sabihin itong metabolic acidosis na to, pang tulungan nyo po ako. And, I don't know kung paano niya, kung paano mangyayari sa'yo, but it can. No? It can happen. That miraculously, you will be able to understand. Maybe from um, hearing someone explain it well, or from a friend who uh, helped you, or from a reviewer that you you have um, encountered, no? He can answer your prayers in many, many ways. You just need to talk to him. Okay? Even after studying, you talk to him. 
normalize talking to God. And not only during the hard times, and not, not only during the happy times, or during the, the asking times, yung may pinagdadasal tayo, but make it a habit every day. Whether you're happy, whether you're sad, whether whatever, you talk to Him. Make Him part of you, and you will be able to sail this life on earth relatively easier than when you're, 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 when you're thinking you're alone. You're not. Alright? Jesus coming to earth and saving us is a, a, a reason, is a proof that we are not alone. And noon, maaari, no? habang hinihintay natin yung pangako ni Lord na, na magpapadala siya ng Savior. But now, He's here. He has conquered the world. And He's already victorious. So, let's find comfort doon and encouragement doon. And if you're meant for this, God will make it happen. Alright, I hope you are encouraged and if you are, share it sa inyo pong mga friends that will also need to be reminded of the, the reason why, why, why we are celebrating the Christmas season. Beshi, before I end my live tour tonight, I just want to say, Merry Christmas! Merry last Christmas na walang RMT title sa pangalan mo because simula next year, hmm, PRC license ka na. Amen to that, mga beshi. Amen to that. Hashtag happy, ready, RMT ni Lord sa 2023. Okay? Merry, happy, last 